I'm Babs Gray, and hey, I'm crashing here. It's such a great tagline for the show, crashing on HBO. <laughs> and I, for one, am grateful that it's in every single episode. <laughs> uh, I'm Brandy Posey, and uh, Marie Kondo, more like Marie Tiny House. Because <laughs> you get rid of all your stuff that could fit in a tiny house. <laughs> You guys get it? Oh, I get it. Condo. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Who needs I a condo it. when you could fit in a tiny house? Yeah. All right. A tiny condo. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm Tess Barker, and I don't know if I'm actually an optimist or just constantly over-caffeinated and listening to Top 40. <laughs> this is Lady to Lady. Can you keep a secret? Neither can we. Hello! We got Barbara Brandy and of course Big Tess. We got a show for everyone that's the fucking best come on baby it's time to hang out with your favorite ladies ladies and ladies ladies and ladies welcome Hi, guys. Hey. <laughs> we're coming to you live from san francisco in the corner of a restaurant oh my god oh yeah it's us and one other guy who's just yeah. trying to enjoy Hi. his breakfast I'm trying yeah. to enjoy his breakfast <laughs> <laughs> It's over, sir. Yeah, so sorry. I Comedians, apologize. we can't let you enjoy anything. Yeah. <laughs> it's guerrilla comedy every time you step out of your door. Yeah. At all moments. Um, we are here with just one of our favorites. She's so goddamn funny. She has two incredible podcasts, The Dork Forest and Jackie and Lori. Jackie Cation. Hi. I'm looking if I had a Twitter joke. Yeah. Do you want to, you? Do you want to yeah. drop I, one? I don't. It's, it's hard to find them because most of my stuff is just retweets and promotion at this point. Right, right. Yeah. It's literally, I think, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, no, I can't even find anything I actually said. <laughs> <laughs> you got to really... Just steal somebody. There's no time yeah, for yeah. thoughts read anymore. Somebody, read one of Andy Kindler's. Uh, yeah, it's... Uh, you got to do it in his voice. Yeah, yeah that's true. Oh, I wish I could. Anyway, uh, we're blowing it off. We're yeah. blowing it out. It doesn't matter. Out the... Out the Jackie, hi. It's I not It's podcast, you guys. <laughs> it's like in Los Angeles, there's a law that you can only have two pets per person. Yeah, yeah. And uh, with stand-up comedy, I think there should be a law that you can only have two podcast because I like think. pets there's only so many you can actually take care of exactly yes. Yes. and then everyone doesn't get enough attention exactly and yeah. what do you, I, you yeah. want a neglected dog no you don't no. and you don't want a neglected oh, podcast you no. don't want a neglected <laughs> you I don't want to happen to say get the angry law, exactly the law is that everyone has to have two podcasts in la which is also <laughs> true oh, yes <laughs> everyone just talking to themselves in their cars like gotta get my quota in let's get this done i do remember when Lori <laughs> asked me if i wanted to have a podcast and i was like you know i I, I have, have a podcast. I do one already. <laughs> and she's like, yeah, yeah, whatever. And, uh, and I was like, seriously, for like 10, 11 years, I've had a podcast. Nothing? Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah let's totally. <laughs> sure, I'll delve into this venture with you. She, was that her first podcast? You yeah. Is, okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is her first. Because you were like early everything. in the podcast game. Oh, yeah. Ground floor of making no money. That's yeah. me. That's me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've been, Get in there early. And so I remember when I started stand-up, it was just like that. I was like, what, who's yeah. 19 and really wants to be poor for a long time. <laughs> just love, this one. love to feed my passion, not my body. It's great. <laughs> so It makes you scrappy, though, right? Yeah, I think so. That's what I try to tell myself. Yeah. yeah. You know, like, I get described as scrappy a lot, and I'm... Is that a compliment? I, th I take it as a compliment. I think it is. Okay. Yeah. I mean, yeah. You, you get stuff it done. It depends on the. It depends on the age of the of the person saying it to you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's like very true. Do so you think if it's if it's a peer? Oh, it's a peer. <laughs> well, maybe yeah, like kind of a peer. Okay. Kind of. That's a not peer. good. That's interesting. I think it's. I think it's. Well, good. I mean, the it thing is, is you can take it, or does it feel condescending? I, I'm like, is a little condescending because I think it means I like mm. work hard, but scrappy means like you need scraps. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> no, that's not no, what no, it scrappy, means at all. No, scrappy no, means no. that you that you are like you're getting it done regardless of yeah you're getting it done regardless of what anybody is helping you with or not. Like right. Right. to me, scrappy is like very DIY. Like resourceful. you're gonna do it regardless. Resourceful. You're resourceful. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah, that's it's uh it's only when they you know if they say you're so scrappy it's cute then, yes. that's then you that's bury it, them head first. Yeah. In if this anyone series. says yeah, yeah. yeah you're so anything it's cute. It's cute. Yes, yeah. it's that's cute so essentially that. negates any compliment. Yeah, that's when I get into a scrap with you you're, and that's well, how you're scrappy fat. I am. It's cute though. <laughs> Stop talking. Stop. Stop talking. I'll show you or what's cute. it's endearing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, is it is it endearing? What no. about my heart? Yeah. <laughs> I, I had a comic tell me one time. Uh -huh. He said. 
never lose weight because that's your hook. You're going to be the fat comic. Oh, and I was oh like, my God. Out loud, I'm right over here, man. <laughs> oh, man. And then, what about my health? Nobody cares? <laughs> Nobody cares about my health. Just eye contact directly with me. Never <laughs> lose weight. Like, okay, all right. What all if right. my jokes just spoke for it's themselves? Exa- and it was right after he told me he was looking for like a trophy girlfriend that he yeah. couldn't afford a trophy wife yet. And I was like, well, you seem super oh, interesting God. and one-dimensional. I think you should just settle for a participation <laughs> wife. Somebody, I think that's the best you're going to Somebody reminded buddy. me once that this guy I was like in love with, um, we were playing Never Have I Ever, and I forgot that he did this. Uh-huh. Oh, my God. But he had very like... Yeah, he had very like trophy wife, I think, dreams and yes. had very specific what he wanted out of a woman. And he said, never have I ever, never have I ever been with a perfect 10. <gasps> and it was like, who saw the dogs like that? <laughs> right. <laughs> oh who and also, who's That's a perfect 10? Game. There's like yeah. maybe five of them alive? Yeah, a perfect, like what? So you've never been with Beyonce? Yeah, you've never been right. with Bella Hadid or whatever. Oh yeah. my God. That's I've a never been villain. with Chris Helmsworth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, That's yeah. insane. Oh. Beautiful. Yeah, that's Do you think, yeah. I think guys might rate women like kind of often. Is that a common yes, thing? I think it's, I think I hear it on stage a lot at least. Yeah. 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 Oh. I tried to write a joke. I don't want to even know. I, I, I know oh, we no, all no, probably have been rated and I don't want yeah, to know what mine is. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Yeah. Well, it's like anything. I don't want to hear friend, anyone. Uh, uh, right. A friend of mine said all women have been called a cunt, especially yeah, yeah. if you don't know it. Yeah. Oh, and, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you're like, I've never been called a cunt. It's like, that's your face. That's your face. No, I was trying to like write a joke about um like how I think guys do that number system. System so that at the end of the year they get to add up the numbers and the average of that is how many minutes they're allowed to cry to their dad on the phone. <laughs> that's a great. Joke. So like that's their that's the whole reasoning behind it. I just need a, my, I need a that's reason. That's why on New Year's they're like desperate to hook up with somebody. <laughs> right. <laughs> Got to get there. Oh my god. <laughs> but I looked up Scrappy. Okay, having an aggressive and determined spirit. Yeah. Okay. That's all right. I'll that. take it. I think hundred yeah. percent Scrappy. Yeah. yeah. I don't know how. I don't know who is it, quite honestly, especially yeah. people who do stand up. Yeah. yeah, all of the oh, people yeah, we know. For sure. are. Yeah, I think especially women. Yeah. yeah. I mean, have yeah. you seen us in a in a green room <laughs> with like food and things around us? <laughs> it's funny this festival of Babs and I picked up our badges yesterday yeah. and we just like walked in and we're like, "Where are the bags?" <laughs> we were oh, like, "Where are the free yeah. Where's the swag? swag?" I didn't get one. Uh, and I'm like, uh it's probably stuff I don't want, but where is it? Exactly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's like I want to throw it away. Yeah, I want to throw it away. It's the only thing that, like, you know, it's the only thing that makes us feel a little like yeah. obviously Fancy. celebrity swag bags at like the Oscars or oh, you know yeah. have like Cartier right. diamonds in them or something. Mm-hmm. But we're like, you, where's our tote bag? Where's right. my tote? Yeah. It's like 15 years ago, Maria Bamford got an iPod shuffle in one of them. Oh, Ooh. Nice. Like 15 years ago, and That's she huge. was like. This feels important, but what is it? And I was like, it's an iPod shuffle. And she goes, well, how do you use it? And it was, I mean, back in the day when you did not know, like, because mm-hmm. the tech was too. Yeah, there were no like screens on those then. things. It was like no, a little fl- that thumb was just drive. The, yeah, it was just a square. Yeah, you just square. moved it over. Yeah. yeah, it was weird. Yeah. I would like one of those now. I used to use my shuffle to teach my senior citizens aerobics class. That's I would load all my aerobics songs on to <laughs> And it was just, you would just like, whatever I feel like that's what they were meant for. Nice. They are meant for like one activity. Yeah, you would just put oh, like yeah. a playlist on it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. One playlist and then dance your heart out. Yeah, yeah. you can't go, you can't be like, I'm going to go for a run. And then it goes from like music to comedy tracks over and over. That's the problem <laughs> with being a fan of comedy is you have comedy in all of your shuffle if you just shuffle everything. Yes. Oh, right. So you can't, you can't be, <laughs> be like it's, working up a sweat. And then U2 comes on. Yeah. Like, what just happened? Oh my God. And it's I literally on there. I can't get rid of it. I can't get rid of it. I don't know how to get rid of it. I feel like it has negatively impacted you two. You know, and like that no album on there. Right. Because the thing yeah. is, you're not getting new YouTube fans. No. They're, they exist. They're either they're there or they're not. But no they're one's not, getting they're not, they're not like greatest hits, too. And yes, not some sort exactly. of new thing yes. that you're like, well, no. I suppose I know, because literally, I do know some of those songs yeah, now because I'll I'm listen. just exhausted and I'm just like, <laughs> you've given it. I can't <laughs> find it. I don't know how to Has- switch it. It's a hashtag YouTube moment, for sure. We did not give you consent to put this on our phones. Ooh, hashtag you too. Yeah, exactly. Get the hell away from me, you too. I do love Bono's a guy. Like, Come give, on. yeah, I'll find. I'll I'll rock some with or without you. you know? Oh, I, I love that song. That's a good yeah. song. Yes. But whatever. The I actually lost my virginity to that song. Sunday. You did? Uh-huh. Really? <laughs> This is a very Chess Barker moment. I hear the Perfect. piano. Bing, bing, bing. <laughs> so I can't funny. have sex to music with words. I just really, really? can't. I cannot. Because I start thinking about the lyrics? She starts singing them. I start the singing. <laughs> well, I, I actually have realized this lately, and I think a lot of comedians, you have this, but I have a really like sensitive like auditory thing. Mm-hmm. So I've, I've 
conversations are hard sometimes because I hear like everything else going on around me. Yeah, same. And yeah, and really, songs, well, I'm deaf, so yeah. <laughs> I'm self-absorbed. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so well, sorry. That's, but that's a, yeah, I'm like, sorry, I'm only hearing yeah. myself. Yeah, yeah. But like, I, so songs I hear like really like intensely and I just, mm-hmm. when I'm like making out with somebody, if there's lyrics, they're yeah. just, that's like all I'm hearing. Oh, wow. Yeah. And so if it like, <laughs> Like the other night I was making out with my boyfriend and we haven't said like, I love you yet. And mm-hmm. he put on some music and I like, was like, oh God, there, she's going to be saying, I love you while we kiss. And I was like, can you put on something without words? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Cause it like, it's yeah. going to, I feel like it's going to be awkward if we keep hearing it. Or, right. Yeah. You know what I mean? I can't passively listen to music. Like I yeah. tune into it immediately. I can't just have it on in the background. Really? I hear, I hear it. Right. Completely. I always have to have music playing. I yeah. have music playing like all day, every yeah, day. Yeah. I'm the same mm-hmm. way. And I can't listen to like a podcast and work because I yeah. won't hear it at yeah. all. Yeah. I love noise in the background. Me it's too. nice. It's like white noise. Y'all ever fuck just... with whale sounds? No. <laughs> no. When you're trying to write whale sounds, it's on like YouTube. Oh, that sounds really good. It's so good. nice. I'll put on like... It's like binaural okay. beats. Yeah. yeah. Right. That sounds yeah. good. I've got okay. like a marimba playlist of just like Ooh. really mellow marimba songs. <laughs> yeah, <nice. laughs> like that Marimbas really... and whales. Yeah. Like that's honestly what I, I listen like to when cello. I get something. I like yeah. a nice cello. cello. I love a cello. Yeah. Yo-Yo Ma. Love a cello. Yo-Yo Ma. Yeah. Play that cello. Yeah. Yo-Yo Ma. <laughs> I like love Yo Yo Ma actually. Yeah. yeah, me too. Who doesn't? Yeah, seems like a pretty pretty chill. Hey, hey let's back. give some credit to the other cello up. players Delicious. in the world. Yeah, I mean, not the. I don't, I'm just kidding. Uh, it's true. Yeah. He really did a good job becoming the most famous cello player of all time. It's a right. difficult to be a thing. famous cello player at all. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Do you yeah. know any? Can you think of any other ones? Nope. No. The best selling <laughs> is, is reteaching it. herself cello. Really? Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Best oh, yeah, I've been seen live the streaming about her. Uh, that's cool. She's she used to play and she's like getting back into it again. I think oh, all fun. comedians yeah, yeah. like really want to like yeah. They always say that right? Comedians want to be musicians and oh, yeah. I was well, I was thinking about taking uh, piano lessons because uh, I found oh, yeah. out my neighbor teaches it. Nice. Oh, you and uh, you should. Right, right, and, and, and but she said something like. Um, well, do you have a piano at your house or keyboard? And I was like, no. And she said, well, I don't necessarily want to practice with you for an hour once a week. And I was like, well, you worked on Groundhog Day. That guy. Just went. Yeah. And I was like, all right. I bought a keyboard last year yeah. just to have it. Like 100 bucks? Or? Yeah, yeah. It was yeah, like 80 bucks on Craigslist or whatever. You get cheap. very cheap. Yeah. yeah. Especially if you're just trying to learn. You don't need anything like fancy. Yeah. Right. And I could just stick it in the garage because that's where I yeah. should learn to play anything. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's, where, that's where my sister learned to play the violin. My parents would be like, no, no. We want you to take a <laughs> lesson. Uh, please go practice in the garage. <laughs> and because uh, awesome. I don't know if you've seen early. Have, to have, the you, garage. have you heard early violin? My niece oh, is, oh, is six and she's learning violin right now. <laughs> and I'm actually proud of her because she's being very. I, like I see myself in her so much because she's such a perfectionist. Yeah, and right. she's getting good because she's like torturing herself. But the first. Yeah, my sister tortured the hell out of herself to learn. Yeah. She didn't know. We both took. Uh, she took violin. I took viola. And mm. then a year into it, I quit viola. And my sister had been playing violin for two years and she was like we can quit <laughs> and by then she she literally had been practicing like two or three hours a day wow. to just to torture our parents because she thought she couldn't quit and so That's she good, got though. really good she was like god damn it now i'm good <laughs> right now i like it. did she keep going <laughs> mm-hmm. That's amazing. What's the difference between viola and violin? Uh, one's bass clef, one's treble clef, and oh, then the, the, okay. the, vi- the viola is also slightly lower. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's. it's um, I'm sure there's uh, much more. <laughs> there's, yeah, I'm sure there's more That's going the on there. There's more to it. But the, my the musical basics. actually is, is piano cello. And like when we added the cello to the score, I mean, that me- instrument it's just gorgeous. Like breaks your yeah. heart. Yeah. Yeah. It's gorgeous. Yeah. yeah. Ch- cello I love the French cello horn. and the French horn. I played French horn. What? Since fourth grade. I still have it. I'll never get rid of that thing. I pull it out like once a month and run scales. Yeah, that's awesome. Just oh, wow. still do Just it or not. Just keep your embouchure. Mm-hmm. That's it. <laughs> yeah, my embouchure's still there. My tone is shit, but I could get it back in about three weeks if yeah. I actually tried. Yeah. It's yeah. I used to have a couple of, because I took clarinet and then I took trumpet, and mm-hmm. I really like trumpet. And, I still have a trumpet, too. And, yeah. and I had a clarinet, and I lent it to a friend of mine who, uh, her husband sent it to his grandfather in Poland. I was like, what? what? Why would I you? I thought I was le- lending. No, no. Oh, Wait, well, I don't have a, I don't have a also, clarinet anymore. Okay. Sh- <laughs> That's an interesting like regifting that was never a gift. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's just stealing, I think. Relending. Right. Yeah. Point, I was like, what just happened? I think also, I just lost my clarinet. The price of shipping a clarinet overseas, buy a clarinet over <laughs> in Poland. In just Poland. buy a Polish clarinet. <laughs> right. I'm sure there's plenty of clarinets just loose. Yeah. That does seem like what Poland is like. Seems like a clarinet. Someone who's never been to Poland. <laughs> yeah. It feels someone who's never been to Poland. Clarinet. Yeah. I feel like there's a lot of accordions and yes. a lot of clarinets. Oh, yeah. man. Yeah. We have they my collected cl- accordions, my friends. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Really? Ooh. Yeah. 
Yeah, we have my grandpa's old accordion. It's gorgeous. That's super cool. That would, be, that would be fun to yeah. Learn how to I taught that myself so accordion in junior high. I taught, I taught myself how to play Happy Birthday, and whenever it was someone's birthday, I would bring my accordion to school and play Happy Birthday for them. That's cool. And I was my, the administration at my junior high hated me so much that I got <laughs> suspended for playing Happy Birthday on the accordion. <laughs> Because I was out of all the other bad things you were doing, that's yeah, yeah, that is such a gloriously nerd thing for you to have done. I love that about you. You know, you know it shows it shows scrappiness. Yes, Thank you. That's exactly exactly. What that shows. Does. Absolutely scrappy. That is so awesome. <laughs> that is glorious. Love no, that. I'm gonna bring this, and then there. Did you ever? Uh, you Come remember back those? With it? No, those guys. Oh yeah. Did you? No, okay. that was my last day. Well, that's Corey. it. I yeah. mean, you'd been punished. Yeah. Exactly. Just <laughs> yeah. Someone that doesn't have the joy of... of Sorry, whimsy is illegal at this school. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All sense of joy has been outlawed, you yeah. bastards. <laughs> How dare you try to have fun and bond with your peers here in some way. Exactly. It's not like that's not an important skill to also be right. fostering at school. Right. <laughs> no shit. They were so mean to me. <laughs> Why did they like brutal? you? Yeah. Because I was a class clown. I was, school mm. was boring. I was fun. Yeah, that is. That is. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you understand. Uh, you had an accordion. Yeah, <laughs> that's the definition of fun. Exactly. <laughs> we would like in our social studies class. It was taught in a home ec room, and like one time, just to entertain everyone, I put on a sombrero and did like a dance behind the teacher oh, on one fun. of the sinks. Got suspended for that. <laughs> Stuff like that. It's <laughs> insane. We in seventh grade, we used to do a. Um, uh, we during but there was two classes that all of our friends like. They were right next to each other, and then the uh, f- school photo lab was the next door over. So we would go and have a two-minute dance party and the five-minute nice. Um, nice in between, between classes. Yes. Yeah, in the in the photo room, we just go in and be like red light party, and we would just like put on whatever for like two minutes. <laughs> like, okay, go to class. Everybody should have a two-minute dance party. Yeah. It's a good yeah. idea for just boosting used, your day. Yeah, yeah. 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 substitute yeah. teach. That was a reward I would give my little kids is if they were good. I would have, let them have a one-minute dance party. Yeah. That's oh, a good, good call, idea. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I like that a lot. That's yeah. a good call. A little shake some energy it feels yeah. good yeah and then like it's yeah. controlled yeah. chaos yeah 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 that's it <laughs> yeah yeah I, when i used to babysit there was a i was trying to do the homework with this kid and he was like seven seven or eight years old and he could not get it and i was like we we sat we did it and then we take a 15 minute break and i was like you should chill and um and he just he just started he started to hyperventilate and he started to freak out because he yeah. could not get this math yeah mm. and i was like Okay, here's what I, I want you to scream as loud as you can. Because I knew he yeah. wanted to scream. Yeah, and, yeah. And, but he was told, and he was like, what? And I said, like three times as loud as you can. You can get scream, it get it out, beat this pillow, yeah. just start whack, you know, just yeah. beat something soft. And mm-hmm. he was like, he did it twice, and he was so exhausted. He was like, no, that's good. That's fine. <laughs> I don't need to do it anymore. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Therapeutic screaming should be practiced more often, yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah, because it... it, it I was like, "All right, now take a second. Yes, yeah. let's uh, have some little bit of water, and uh, yeah, and we're just going to take one <laughs> eight plus seven, whatever it was, right? And we're just going to do it." I, I met a lady recently that uh, she'd been teaching her toddler how to meditate. So whenever they were about to throw a tantrum, she'd be like, "You need to go meditate," and they would just go and just like sit Whoa. and just like calm themselves and be like, "You come back when you're done." What? Yeah, I was like, "You can do that. Yeah, wow. you can. You can just teach a That's child amazing. to, to yeah. meditate." Mm-hmm. Although it's hilarious to see like a tiny child. Just like <laughs> get into um. it. That is adorable, quite honestly. That should definitely be taught. Yeah. My, nie- my, Genius. my youngest niece and nephew go to this Quaker school, and this mm-hmm. Quaker school from kindergarten on, they have quiet time Ooh. where they have to be silent and they have oh, to. I like that. And they just treat, they teach them how to be okay with the sort of the voices in, in our heads, right? Mm-hmm. You're just like, it's not that big of a deal. You're yeah. just going to sit quiet Ooh. for, and, and in kindergarten, it's like five minutes or yeah, 10 yeah. minutes or whatever. And then by the time they're in junior high, I think it's like a, a half an hour or 45 minutes. Damn. Oh, that's, that's You just awesome. sit and you're just like, you can do it. Yeah. You can just this sit is, there quietly. I think we, we need like a countrywide or worldwide like hour of no internet that everyone does. Like a yeah. quiet. Yeah, like a siesta like, hour. Like yeah. a blackout yeah. of like every. Everyone takes a break for yeah. a minute and goes outside or does whatever. Yes. Just doesn't look at a screen. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's like the end of a of Cable Guy where like yeah. they break the dish right at the end of like the the trial and the, the one it's a uh, what's his name from uh, Tenacious uh, D right? Yeah, Kyle Gass. Yeah, he just like 
Oh, he just turns and picks up a book and opens yeah, it up. Yeah, everyone's cable goes smiling. out at the end of this, like, Odysseus oh, right. and Rebel Child. Yeah. 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 He's like, a book? And he immediately is like, oh, I feel so good <laughs> reading this book. <laughs> that'd be a fun, like, um, that's a fun, like, villain who's somebody who's trying yeah. to, like, get rid of that so everyone has to, like, you know, right. yeah, yeah. engage. Yeah. Again. Yeah. Confront well, reality. I feel, yeah. I feel like I have, like, a slight addiction to reading, and so sometimes mm-hmm. I'll feel guilty because it'll be the middle of the day, and I'll be like, I just really want to read my book. But I'm like, this is better than... No. Oh, jack shit on the that. internet. Yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah, on. This is exactly like playing Happy Birthday. Yeah, this yeah, is yeah. exactly <laughs> like the accordion. These are not these are not things to fear. Okay. <laughs> I will literally like beat myself up because it's the middle of the day and I'm reading. Like, oh, oh my god, yes, no. come on. Yeah, it's like other people are like, no, I gotta go no. get some crack. Yeah. <laughs> really jonesing for a new book. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, mean, sure, I you might can... be the wrong person to talk to because I do it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I I just think people like you. You're, right. Yeah. Well, I think and when I, you have an untraditional schedule, you do feel, you know. Yeah. 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 That you have to keep it together. There has mm-hmm. to be some structure. Right. Yeah. But, but with all structure, I think there needs to be breaks. I mean, it's yeah. you think about those people who smoke. Those guys get to leave the office every half yeah. an hour to 40 right. minutes. I love you need I something. Know. And I was like, I don't have a joke totally fleshed out about that yet, but I kind of miss smoking for that reason because it's so nice to have like a socially sanctioned reason just to like bone out yeah. and go be by yourself for 10 minutes. Right, right. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. you can't just be, like, at a party and be like, I'm going to go stand outside. But you can be right. like, I'm going to go have a cigarette. Yeah. yeah, yeah, for some reason. Yeah, yeah. you can't yeah. just go, I'm going to go stand outside. <laughs> I'm just going to go breathe for a second. <laughs> yeah. Maybe like, I'll breathe the go cigarette smoke. you not, you aren't. Yeah. <laughs> That's basically what you're doing. Yeah. In college, I used to keep candy cigarettes because uh, whenever my friends would go on smoke breaks, I'd be like, oh, yeah, well, I'm going to eat sugar with you. <laughs> and I would just go outside with them and just munch on them, blow that That's, bubble like gum smoke. I like somebody driving by like, it just looks like you're eating <laughs> cigarettes next to them. <laughs> I had a little case for them and everything. <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna do cigarettes better than you are. Hey, comics are so weird. I know. We're so fucking weird. I know. I love us. Let me make your smoke break about me in some way. <laughs> okay, everybody. Uh, but this is a perfect time for a smoke break. Go, so have, go out, have some sugar, go out and have a breath. We'll yes. be right back. Be right. Hey, everybody. You know it's the new year, and you know you say new year. New me. And that's where Noom comes in. Oh my God, I never got that until now. <laughs> noom year, Noom me, Noom you, Noom we. New moon, Ooh. New moon, Blue new moon. Mo- Once in a blue moon, you get your shit together and now's the time. You've realized <laughs> it's time to get the body you want, the health you want, the way you want to feel. It's not too late to kick you off right. Stay on track and meet your resolutions with Noom. Noom is weight loss in the palm of your hand, literally. It's an app where you can go in there, you can put your fitness goals, you can talk to an actual goal specialist, which is really amazing. You have this one-on-one person, this accountability, which for me is huge. That's what I need. And having somebody there who I can talk to when I have a craving, when I, you know feel bad about you know a, a workout I didn't get in or whatever it is yeah you yeah. have someone there it's got like a community that, that helps support you and it's good because it's like you know you can be more focused on like health versus all the other kind of toxic shit that you caught, caught it in and I think that's the key to like long term health is really like that's how you get lasting results is doing it healthily and doing it from a very balanced and smart place and that's what Noom can offer you yeah that's what Noom is all about they want you to try a different approach where you change your daily habits which really is the like the key to success this way there's a really great community that's there for you. You are not here alone. Doesn't matter if you're the only one in your apartment who's decided to actually be healthy this year. <laughs> there are other people on Noom who are on this journey with you. Yeah, so if your roommate keeps buying ruffles and stuff like that, get on your Noom app, talk to your goal specialist. They will talk you down from the from the ridge edge. <laughs> the ridge edge of a ruffle. Ruffles have ridge edges. Ruffles, ruffles. ridge edge. I didn't even mean <laughs> Barbara to. Barbara likes her chips ridged. <laughs> <laughs> it's such an it just cuts the inside of your mouth yeah ooh, um, I, I like it rough um, but Noom is designed for results and meet your resolutions today by signing up for your trial today at Noom that's N-O-O-M dot com slash lady what do you have to lose visit Noom dot com slash lady start your trial today again that is Noom dot com slash lady start losing weight for good
Hey, hey, we're back. Oh, sorry. It's you do okay. it. I start the second <laughs> segment. <laughs> this is my. Hey, we're back. I'm Lady to Lady. I'm Brandy. <laughs> I'm back. I'm Tess. And we're Jackie Cation. I'm Jackie Cation. Yeah. And uh, hey, I want to say shout out. Awesome. We're, we are in San Francisco at the Mums restaurant, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. they've been amazing. They're like refilling yeah. the hell out of our coffee Honestly, and tea, even yeah. Yeah. just kind of I'm sitting here. really nice with them. So yeah. come here if you're ever in San Francisco. I feel very caffeinated and hydrated. Yeah. And I often don't get both of those at once. And we haven't eaten anything yet, but their menu does look really good. I might fuck up some green tea pancakes yeah they have like <laughs> poached eggs over rice topped with yeah. sesame seeds like give me, give me yeah. that sure thank you, oh, yeah. <laughs> thank you. Well, we know for sure their tea is good <laughs> um okay jackie we're gonna play a game with you you can interpret these questions however you want there's no right no wrong answer yes. it's they're just, just kind of like yeah, yeah. jumping off lower the stakes points. you guys lower <laughs> the stakes we've just, we've just had some people that i think have like test they get, trauma like, in their yeah. mind. <laughs> they get like, really what? stressed what is it what do you want me we're getting How? graded oh is god it, can i look it up <laughs> yeah. no I feel like it's that moment because you know when you watch like a game show and you're like, oh, I know all this, yeah, but yeah. if you were on there, your brain just would freeze. Yes. And you wouldn't yeah. know anything. Just True. don't ask me about Israeli politics. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, no the racer one <laughs> off the <of> question. <laughs> I like the tabouli. Yeah. <laughs> That's the correct answer, actually. Exactly. You all the Middle East. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Always. <laughs> Who? What? Where? When? Who? What? Where? When? Who? What? Where? When? Who? What? Where? When? Who is the superhero you most identify with? Tarzan. Oh. oh. Yeah. Why I Tarzan? Love, You're deeply I, feral. Okay. I am, <laughs> oh, I think we've known that. It's, uh, I've always, he's my, is he my, I think he's my favorite superhero That's because I think I just realized probably five or six years ago that he was a superhero. Yeah, is he? Because, That's what I was going to say. Oh, he can talk to animals. He can swing True. from trees. Yeah. That, yeah. And totally it doesn't, That's. it doesn't, you know, he can call beasties like and yeah. you know I and what I really like about Tarzan yeah. is that there's um he's he's not he's a he's a good neighbor mm-hmm. but he's also not a busybody yeah you know he's just like no guns in Tarzan country yeah but live your lives yeah. you know if you want to tie uh if someone in your village mm-hmm. has created c- committed some sort of crime and you're the way you punish that person is to fold two trees over and tie that person to the middle of that tree and then cut those trees apart so that person is uh, ripped apart by those two trees <laughs> coming apart. That's between you and your God. Uh, <laughs> so what he is, is he's a good neighbor. He's very helpful, but he is also uh, not a busybody. Doesn't have any... Yeah. So uh, that's him. what I see. Yeah, what does like he that. do? So like, if he's a super, though, he has to like help people He's the need, king of right? the jungle, right? He is the king he of the jungle. jungle. Okay. okay. And uh, mm-hmm. yeah, so what he usually does is he, you know, he mostly helps the animals. Yeah, conservation. Okay. Yeah, okay. 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 he's more. He's kind of an environmentalist. And uh, I'm you digging know, this. You're, right. you're you're swinging me that way. Right. I like well, this. And, you know, people. Hey, swinging. <laughs> and a lot of people will be like, "Well, we got to find the elephant graveyard so that we can mm-hmm. get all the ivory." Yeah, yeah. And he's like, "No, nah, leave the elephant graveyard alone. That's yeah. a graveyard. Uh, yeah. You're gonna build a house on that, and then they're gonna come to haunt you. Mm-hmm. And, and I'm gonna, gonna run come elephants. gentrify the yeah. elephant graveyard. <laughs> Please don't gentrify the elephant." An elephant never forgets that. No coffee shop. Yeah, yeah. You know that. <laughs> no, bam! I love the idea of an elephant ghost. Oh, oh my god! Oh, that's even cuter than a real. There elephant. probably are elephant ghosts. They're very soulful. Oh, oh I would oh. love that. I would be if, hey, any elephants listening out there. Feel free to exactly. haunt me. Honestly, <laughs> I was just in Cambodia and I was like, "Are we going to get to ride an elephant?" And the Cambodian guy was like. It's actually not cool. The elephants aren't psyched. Uh, oh, and I was yeah, like, yeah. oh, then it's, for the it's love good of God. that he said that. Yeah, yeah I was yeah. like, then let's leave yeah. the elephants alone. Yeah, yeah. If, they, if they have a life to lead, I don't need to sit on top of one. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah exactly. <laughs> 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 I, I don't know. That's a great rule. I don't need to get. Yeah. I don't need to get in the face of any animal who's got a life to lead. I'm just like, I don't need to swim with a dolphin. No, I don't need to pet no. a manta ray. No, no, no. I'm good. If you're looking for shit to do, burrow. Okay. Yeah. 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 I'll hike the right, Grand Canyon with I'll you. Find yeah. a person to hang out with. Yeah. Because yeah. 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 stick to my own species if I'm looking for something social and adorable. Yeah. <laughs> I can see him from afar. It's I don't know if you know this, but I could go watch a toddler learn how to meditate. Yeah. Yeah. It'd be very beautiful. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I feel like. I feel like elephants would be really into that too. Elephants seem like they meditate. Oh, yeah, maybe. they honestly might be smarter than us. Pro- they yeah. also yeah. paint. Have you ever seen the mm-hmm. elephant yes. paintings? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah it's super cool. It's fascinating. It weird. Yeah. Well, and you guys know I visited the home of uh, the chimp who played not Tarzan but um, George Cheetah. of the Cheetah. 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 Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Have you been to yeah. Cheetah's house? No, I've been to Cheetah's house. I am not on the list. 
this to get to <laughs> Cheetah's house. It's this dude, Dan, who lives in Palm Springs. Yeah. And he takes care of Cheetah. And Cheetah's grandson. Cheetah's, oh, I was going to say Cheetah is not well, alive. Well, Cheetah God, might have passed away. But I met Cheetah like three or four years ago as like a 75-year-old yeah. Chimpanzee, Chimp. yeah. Okay. And you Lived go to this house, life. and it's like a track home in the suburbs. It's just yeah. like a cul-de-sac. Yeah. And you call this guy, and you leave him a voicemail, and you donate $25 to him, and he gives you a tour of his like track home in Palm Springs where he lives with Cheetah. And you sit in his living room, and Cheetah comes out, and he plays the piano for you. And then you get to watch Cheetah eat a peanut butter sandwich at the kitchen table. <laughs> What <laughs> on earth is going on? And then you give you a picture. Or no, you have a picture of him. Do you we have, have a picture of Cheetah? And no. I have a painting yeah. that Cheetah did in my kitchen. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's so the retirement just, life. Now are, you, now, are you sure this guy wasn't pawning like a chimpanzee oh, no. that was not Cheetah onto you? I'm positive. What, what's the providence on, uh, does he, is there birth certificates? What's happening? I mean, he shows you pictures of their life together. Like he's okay. been, yeah, I think wow. his grandpa was like the first take, caretaker of Cheetah and then the grandpa, the human grandpa passed. Away. Yeah. So now Dan has Cheetah and Jeter. And Jeter is like a young chimp, and so he will kill you. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever heard Dana Gould's joke about how ch- uh, uh, chimpanzees uh, attack people? No. no. The first thing they do is they um, they break your jaw so you can't bite them. Yeah. Holy the shit. next thing they do is they uh, rip off your hands so you can't scratch them. Yeah. Damn. And then the next thing they do after that is they rip off your genitals so you can't. Uh, fuck them. <laughs> Which uh, then Dana Gould's punchline is something along the lines of, "How egotistical is that chimp? <laughs> You're like, you like you'd still wanna." That's a great so, bit. It's really funny. I mean, my dad had a client who, yeah, got attacked by one. Uh, it was he was a zoo uh, volunteer, oh, and he yeah. went in to feed them, and their the security gate was undone oh, or something. Wow. Oh my gosh. Yikes. <sighs> Those, my fuck, my dad, I think I've talked about this once, but he like hit, he, I was looking through family pictures and he hit a picture of the guy. Oh no, oh in no. In there, had been attacked in there to like mess with me and then I just That's found so it. mean, are you serious? <laughs> oh my gosh. That's so What horrific. a really macabre practical <laughs> joke. <laughs> Super macabre. I was like, dad. Yeah. And it also seems <laughs> illegal to be distributing those pictures. <laughs> I mean, it was like distributing It's your daughter. family. Yeah. It's really when funny. I worked, I had a job was as... Was messed uh, up or... Oh, go ahead. Yeah, no, his face was like... It was pretty... Did he still yeah. have a face? He barely did. He had to get plastic surgery and stuff. Ooh, and yeah. he still like loved... Animals yeah. after that. Oh, I would probably too. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's, that's not, mean, the, not, not their fault. Yeah, that's, that's their thing. instinct. Yeah, yeah. I can't. Right, yeah. you've locked them up. They're yeah. gonna yeah. be a little angry. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> exactly. At Dan's house, when you go see Jeter, so he has like. <laughs> I just love that it's Dan. <laughs> You and Dan still keep Dan's it in touch. house. Dot net. I I wanted to write a story about him, and he was not into it. So yeah. he rebuffed me there. But oh. you go in the backyard, and so there's a whole like enclosed area that's like fenced in for Jeter, and it was very a very thrilling experience. He comes up to the fence and he looks you dead in the eye. He's like, oh and like God. to have a cheetah like in your face that wants to kill you is yeah. quite exhilarating. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. like knowing that he can't get to you. Is it just the two of them though? There's no lady. No, no, it's just two boys. Yeah. yeah. It's probably enough to take care of. Yeah. It, it, it seems like such a classic rural. No, you can have cheetahs. No, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not, not cheetahs. I mean, you can have yeah, yeah. Chimps, chimps. Chimps, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's weird. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, yeah. So. But yeah, to your point about the legal stuff, I had a job as a, like, as legal secretary when I was in high school. It was a great job in high school. Like I had my own office. I loved it, you know, uh, but it was a, a civil law, a civil law place. And we, one of our clients were all these, we had a class action lawsuit of all these guys that got dick implants that went Ooh. wrong. So oh, as an 18 bad. year old, yeah. I had, my job was to Xerox pictures of dicks gone wrong. <laughs> And these men would come into the office, <laughs> and, and I would have to be like, them? "Can I get you some coffee?" Oh, and no. all I could think about was their grapefruit dicks. They were like, "If you know anyone, PSA: Do not get a dick implant. <laughs> <laughs> don't do it. Don't do, yeah. it. don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Work with the don't original equipment. Truly, <laughs> truly. <laughs> is that good? Well, at least that guy's not there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that guy left. <laughs> yeah. Wait. So what <laughs> is it? Like what? They happens? inject fat into it, and it loses its ability to get hard. So it just all I can describe it as is like a grapefruit with a head. Oh God, what? I'm dying. I'm you dying. can't have sex. It won't fit into a vagina. Why would right, you? Right. What What is the? Well, oh you, man. You, maybe you fear some sort of micro thing or yeah. something. Yeah. It was guys that had like yeah, kind of small. I mean, I think yeah, yeah, it's probably an extreme case. Of, yeah. Yeah. <sighs> 
Well, learn to do something with your fingers, dude. Exactly. Or your like, mouth. Yeah. 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 There's yeah. all sorts of stuff you can do. Yeah. 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 Buy a, yeah it, like, the thing is, is if, in my opinion, mm-hmm. yeah, <laughs> without yeah. all the information, <laughs> the classic, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's uh, <laughs> the, uh, uh, if you can get off right like mm-hmm. if your penis works in, the, in a way that um just give it some more coffee because there is coffee <laughs> and, uh, and if, thank it's too you. much coffee eventually but this yeah. is thank, thank you and um but if but if like if it works on your end mm-hmm. right yeah then you just work on the skill set to give pleasure to the other person mm-hmm. that you're with exactly and totally. then you still get to have the good times that yeah. having your equipment has yeah and then you just you just learn a new like it's it's like learning French. I don't know what it would be like, but I mean, yeah. it would be like, you would, yeah, yeah, it's a new language. Yeah. 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 Yes. Freaking evolve, you banana Doing head. That. Exactly. Whatever. I had to follow a micro penis once um, on, on a show. What? <laughs> what happened? Oh, what? was it that nude guy? Yeah. You uh, followed a, you got <laughs> a nude? What was it called? Oh. It was called, um, it was, it took over for Holy Fuck at the Downtown Independent, whatever that oh. show was. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sleepaway Sleep Camp. Sleepaway Camp. Sleepaway Camp. And they, you know, they were, guy. like, having, like, weird acts and stuff, and they mm-hmm. had the guy who, he was on a lot of, um, uh, God damn it. Boston Tim and Eric. Dude, right? What? Is he from Boston or something? Oh, I've known. Little ginger guy? Mm, no. Oh, I've seen a different micro penis. Okay. <laughs> There's multiple guys else. who make their living as a micro penis? So this, yeah. Yeah, this was, like, a Tim and Eric <laughs> dude. His name was like Michael Schmidt or something, and his mm-hmm. whole thing was that he has a micro penis and got up before me and just like got naked and like danced. And but I, that's what you do. And I had when to life follow, gives you I micro penis, penis, you monetize it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if he was making money, but he was definitely, you know. I hope off. he was making money. Yeah. It was a Free show. He <laughs> wasn't in the downtown show, no, no way. No, no way. <laughs> well. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if Dave Ross is booking that guy. Uh, yeah, he no, didn't get on so Holy much. Fuck. No, no, he did not. He did not. Thanks, so, Dave. That's our favorite superhero. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so that's my that's my favorite superhero. Tar- Tarzan, with or without a micro penis, uh, I don't remember. <laughs> so, how long have you guys been doing Jackie and Lori? No. It's 160 episodes, so that's three, three years, years, right? Wow. Yeah, mm-hmm. and. Um, yeah. Yeah, so who knew? We're three years into a friendship. Yeah. <laughs> she doesn't know. <laughs> but, uh, this is our next question. Now. What okay. is your favorite thing you've learned about Lori? Oh, there's so many weird things that I've learned about Lori Kilmartin. <laughs> <laughs> there, Lori Kilmartin... Um, <clears throat> Is she's spying on the other side of this, of this yeah, yeah. W- uh, mirror? Right. <laughs> is uh, there's things that I wish for Lori Kilmart, <laughs> yeah. and one of them was that she wasn't such a perfectionist. She beats herself up for stuff yeah. that doesn't make any sense. Brandy, you and yeah. I were discussing this about she's the most successful person yeah. we know who thinks she is not successful. She has three, three successful yeah. that are very successful. She's a published author. Mm-hmm. She's a writer on Conan, and she's a stand-up comic who works the road as a headliner. Yeah, yeah. very those accomplished are, woman. Uh, very. very very, very successful. And she's like, why am I not successful? And you're like, what is happening? What do you but think Don't you think that is? maybe something to that is why is she so successful? Like the feeling that you're no. never satisfied keeps no. you going? I do not. I think that there are people who are, have those three jobs and are like, no, this is great. Right. Yeah. I'm really doing but it. But it, it got her there. The perfectionism got yeah. her there. Well, and, and, and it's something that, I mean, I... I don't know what I don't know yeah. what it is, but it feels like a defense mechanism. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> probably. Yeah. It feels like I mean we all have them, right? Yeah, yeah, and, yeah for uh, sure. So you're just like, it'd be nice. Um, the and I here's the other thing I didn't know about her: how much swimming was happening. Yeah, Holy she's still God. swimming every oh, yeah. day. Every That's day awesome. she swims mm-hmm. laps. Yeah, and um, and then uh, yeah, and how then much then swimming was happening? <laughs> So much sweat. Like on the road, there's swimming. Like, really? go find I a lap that, pool on the road. Because that takes like effort. Yeah. She's and, a real like, bump But I think like, yeah. when you yeah. find the dolphin. thing, when you have what? the thing that like yeah. really, sorry. <laughs> She's a road dolphin, not road a road dolphin. dog. Okay, yeah. 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 <laughs> I just got to get that one in. <laughs> I didn't want to let that. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I just mean like, I get it though. Because like you love running. It's like if yeah. you find the thing you really love that like centers you, yeah. you find yeah. the way to do it. I mean, I run out of necessity. I mean, I kind of have to run everywhere. Where I go, yeah. I get. Well, that's it. what she does. Yeah. She, I think she has to swim. She yeah. has to swim to, to burn off some, you know, some weird yeah. mojo vibes or yeah. whatever, right? Well, also, yeah. when you're swimming, nobody can text you. Oh my god, yeah. so true. Just like, I'm nice. unreachable for this amount of time. Here, and here's the weird <laughs> thing that I also did not know about her. I, I I've learned so many things about Lori Kilmartin. Mm-hmm. She enjoys a red delicious apple. <laughs> 
That is bizarre. Really? The mealy Whoa. ones? I have never known. They're always mealy. Like that. Yeah. yeah. Gross. That's a bad apple. Wow. That's, a bad, <laughs> that's a bad apple. <laughs> it is a weird there, thing. I've, and our fans are wow. just like, that's, it's sort of a, a reason to be really fear yeah. for her culinary. Uh, I gave her for Christmas, I gave her, uh, and the Irish thing is hilarious too. Just her oh, yeah. love of a sad sack Irish tale. <laughs> and, uh, you're just yep. like, are, are we going to relive? Okay. Every horrible moment that, I, okay, <laughs> let's do it. But I gave her a cookbook called mm. the uh, Irish Bible. Oh, that's fun. The uh, Yeah. The Irish Bible cookbook. And she was like. I can't imagine I'll be cooking anything out of it, but I'll, I'll maybe I said, no, you and your son can uh, make a, make something. She was like, oh, it sounds hard. And make like, a hearty stew. It's a stew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like literally. Yeah. Crock pot it. it. Stews are the easiest thing in the yeah, world yeah. to make. And Cut it just, and crock pot it. That's <laughs> you know, I think great. crock pot, if you know how to cook, you're like, it's easy, crock pot. But mm-hmm. if you don't cook, crock pots, I think, seem even more intimidating than regular cooking. Than regular pots. Oh. Yeah. And I, I was just like, it's just a can of Guinness and yeah. some beef and some carrots and some taters. Yeah. And she was like, you're the worst sponsor ever. <laughs> and I was like, that's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think she eats a Red Delicious because she's like doing that Irish punishing herself thing? And she's oh, like, that makes sense. Like, oh, no. <laughs> can't be happy She my finds apple them choice. very crisp and very <laughs> delicious. And I'm like, I you're cannot. alone. She's the only one who's been getting the good ones this whole time, though. Yes. Yes. That's why we're getting, yeah. yeah. You know when scouting. you like go to like a Ugh. set or somewhere where they've got apples and like you look in that little be- bowl and it's oranges and red delicious and you're like, Mm-mm. no one's going to touch these. No, right. No, yeah. It will stay there forever. Meanwhile, the price of Honeycrisp is through the roof. <laughs> well, And the problem with Honeycrisp is once you go Honeycrisp, you don't go back. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I like I a do gala. Fiji. I, a gala is good. I like a Fuji, I like that. Yeah, I like yeah. the pink lady. Pink every lady. Once a, yeah, real yeah. tart apple. Yeah, yeah. Have nice you guys time. ever had a grapple? I've yes. Had. Oh, I have had a They're grapple. Weird. It's an apple that tastes like. And grapple. I regrappled it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's very weird. Because I'm, I'm actually like trying to come get more on board with GMOs because I'm realizing that they're, they're fine. Yeah. yeah. But grapples, it's like really rubbing it in your face. Yeah. It's, it's Yeah. Annoying. It's like we don't need this though. No. <laughs> You're pro GMO? Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. It's a, it's a strong stance. Yeah, I am. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I was. I, what do you think of cloning? You pro cloning? Kind of. I'm for um like. Human cloning? I'm for like gene therapy. Okay. Yeah. 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 Because for, I mean like, I don't know. I've had relatives die of cancer and stuff mm-hmm. like that. So I. What about uterine replicators? You like the idea of just having a can that you can grow a baby in instead of in your own yes, uterus? Definitely. Oh, that's that's amazing. amazing. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> all of us, all, all three of you. Absolutely. You're like, no, no. I think it would be, it would solve a lot of problems. It would yeah. also it would. create new ones. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Where, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. like, creepy dudes would just grow women that they could fuck. Oh, but, damn it. Um, yeah, but the thing is, that's, is all, that's the problem with everything. Though. Right, right, right. They'll that, find it, a way. Right, right. You would, with a you, grapple. They're like, oh, great. This is a way for me to grow a woman that I can fuck. <laughs> <laughs> everything, it comes back to it. Right, it comes back to, I have to, I have to grow a hole that I can put yeah. something into. Yeah. And uh, it's fun. I mean, it, right, we, we could deal with that problem yeah, yeah, rather yeah. than, because you don't replicators, that would, it would solve sort of, um, mm-hmm. there could be gene cleansing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sort of like, you know, right. like if, if uh, like if, It'd be a way if if we understood gene therapy well mm-hmm. enough, you could get rid of like diseases that were at the gene level, like sickle cell anemia. Exactly. Yeah. 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 You could just mm-hmm. you could sort of do like a um, and the word gene cleansing. That when you said cleansing, super, it really made yeah, me yeah, like yeah. kind yeah. of like style yeah. my back. It feels like genocide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, uh, but, but eugenics, but yeah, but, yeah. but stuff like that where yeah, you could take care of that kind of thing. Right, right. And polio mm-hmm. and you know just sort of things right. that you're born with. That, but I'm um, sure there would be weird things with like where connecting with the ba- it wouldn't be well, the your same. hormones and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, well, All a guy in stuff. China just got in trouble because he edited the genes of two babies that were just born. And oh. so they were like, it's really unethical because these babies obviously didn't consent to having Whoa. their genes edited. Yeah. But I also feel like the toothpaste is out of the tube. Yeah. It's going to oh, yeah. happen. So now we just need to, I think we need to accept that the technology is there and start regulating it. Yeah, figuring yeah, out Yeah, you got to figure it out. Yeah. Yeah, but there's going to be a weird phase where we do have to like trial and error Jesus. figure out gene oh, therapy. God. Yeah, yeah. Yep. <laughs> I, I volunteer. It's going to be a hell um, of a dumpster. <laughs> I was reading on, I'm going to mess this all up, but I, I was a. Uh, Reading this lady on Twitter who's talking about, you know how like the ugly vegetables thing people get like. Oh, imperfect. Yeah. Imperfect vegetables. Mm -hmm. She's like really pissed about it because she was like, this isn't like a thing. Like, like people, Mm -hmm. she was like, they use uh, the ugly vegetables get made into other food. That's what gets made into salsa, into soup, et cetera. And she said it was like a, (laughs) I knew I was going to, I don't know. I'm going to mess this up. But it's like a class thing to be like, oh, I'll take the. Yeah, like she was like, those are sent to the other grocery stores. Usually. You're virtue You're signaling, like, signaling, yeah, yeah, yeah. Through like being like, oh, I'll take the ugly oh, vegetables. I thought it was yeah. maybe just a good deal. It's not a good deal. 
I don't know. I thought the deal was it was like they're cheap vegetables because they're probably ugly. I think it's cheaper. Yeah. I should yeah. read what she Like if you get bruised said. bruised items and stuff, you can. But if you're going to mm. eat them right away. Yeah, fuck it. Yeah, or if you're going to make soup, who cares? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. I'm, a, I'm a big banana f- head. And so, yeah, towards the end of my movie. Are you a banana head? I'm a big banana head. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be a banana head. <laughs> you pro potassium as well? I am. Potas- I always say potassium and hydration are key. <laughs> if you're feeling, yeah. Uh, but Ain't towards the Charlie's end of the week, horse. I always make a banana bread with my leftover yeah, bananas. Yeah. That's it. I also had, like, my grandpa, like, literally was in the Depression and had to shoot squirrels before school. So I think yeah. even down to me, like, I still have, like, I can't waste food. Yeah, yeah. No, I I'm, have to turn it into yeah. banana bread or a soup or something. I freeze what, stuff what pretty What other quick. weird, like, like because mm-hmm. of my grandparents, I have too much cash all the time. Oh, interesting. Because oh. I think that uh, yeah. the Soviets are coming at all times, mm-hmm. and we're going to have to fucking run. Right. Like, the Turks are at the door. Get yeah. out. And uh, and how am I going to bribe the soldiers if I don't have cash? Yeah. And so, but yeah. I think that's not a horrible instinct, because, like, when disasters go down, credit card machines don't work. Yeah. Right, right. No, and I yeah, definitely yeah. have like a stash, you know, like stash. Well, and, and, cash and, dash. and the thing cash is, is there's cash dash mm-hmm. if when you're a young comic mm-hmm. and uh, you're like, all right, I have $25 if, yeah. I, if something horrible happens. Yes. Yeah. And then like, I don't know, does Madonna have like a hundred grand in a pillowcase Probably. under her bed? Just to roll around and naked, I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's a whole I don't know why I house. went to Madonna too. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah, I just like the idea of Mar- Madonna being a prepper of some kind, right? Like, hey, yeah, look, we got. I would yeah. love to see her bunker. That's a fucking oh, man. dope bunker. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I think that really rich people have um, metal bars. They have like gold and silver, right? Oh, well, that they can just start shaving off. Yeah. Yes. Like, what do you need? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or loose diamonds sewn into their clothes. It's, yes. That Most likely, yeah. You've always got to keep a diamond in your glove compartment, just in case. <laughs> <laughs> you got to bribe travel. somebody. You got to bribe somebody. <laughs> the, the border. Diamond. Yeah. The border guard. Oh, it's a license and registration? <laughs> yeah. Uh, see this <laughs> half a carat diamond? Ma'am, are you g- proposing to me? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it takes. Uh, <laughs> My boyfriend keeps, um, he never keeps cash in his wallet. He always keeps it like in a separate pocket because of like growing up in Chicago, if you get mugged, you can give them your, your wallet, oh. but you can always like have cash to get home. See, here's my thing. I would want to give them the cash and yeah. keep my wallet. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was like, Depending I don't want to go you're... to the DMV. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I literally, I'm just like, okay, this is all the cash like, I have. Keep I just 10 yeah. fake wallets on you at all times. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Like a decoy wallet <laughs> whenever you're just walking around. Yeah, here it is. Mm-hmm. Uh, we Full. have to take a break. We'll be back. BRB. Hey, y'all. If you've been listening to Lady to Lady ever, you've heard how much we love our third love bras. Oh, my God. Honestly. And like... We love boobs. We love you guys. We want your <laughs> boobs to be happy. We first, second, and third love. Yeah, exactly. Bras. There's three of us. All three of us each love a boob. It's my third <laughs> love, bra. Bra? 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 Get love. your bra, bra straight, bra. <laughs> yeah, bra. Seriously, it's so cool. Like, we talked about this, but it's crazy. You go on there and you do their Fit Finder quiz and it legitimately finds a perfect bra for you. I was very incredulous about this at first. Cause I don't know if you guys have had that experience where somebody right. tells you your boob size and you're like, yeah, I know that's not right. This, this website knew better than the little old ladies. Yes, it is better than the bra measuring ladies. Third love is the uh, it's it the is the bra measuring lady of the internet. Yes. It, it does gets it right. It's like that magic trick where they're like, I know what number you're thinking of. I know what number you're rocking on your bosom. <laughs> Third love knows it without hugging you like a creep. <laughs> exactly. And not only that, but what's so cool about them is they have half sizes. They have cups from A through H, bands up to forty eight. They're just awesome. Whatever your shape, whatever your size, whatever you want, Third Love has what you need. And there's quality in every stitch. You know, the details really make the difference. They have pre premium fabrics uh, with expert design. Everything's like a little bit like that kind of foam material that just feels yeah. really good. Yeah. Yeah, get the, get some foam on your boobs. And Third Love knows <laughs> that there's a perfect bra for everyone. <laughs> so right now they are offering Lady to Lady listeners 15% off your first order. Go to thirdlove.com slash lady now to find your perfect fitting bra. Pine after your perfect Pine fitting bra. Pine after yes. your yeah. perfect fitting bra. Get 15% off your first purchase. That is thirdlove.com slash lady for 15% off today. Your boobies deserve it. Hey, come see us live. Do comedy. Do you want to see us do live? Do comedy. Do live. Oh, we're doing it live 
all over the place. Uh, we'll, fuck it. Just, we'll do it live. That's what we say every day when we wake up. <laughs> literally, literally. Until the day they go, fuck it, do it dead. And then <laughs> I just live die. and do it live. Yeah. <laughs> Can't fucking wait. Um, I've got a short run of shows with uh, Jenny and Stacy from Bad Cop, Bad Cop. It's going to be super fun. They're starting tonight, in February 6th, at the Sunset Beach, uh, California. And then tomorrow, the 7th, I'm going to be in San Diego, California. The 8th, I'm going to be in Landers, California. And then I'm back in Los Angeles for Picture This is the Virgil on February 9th. February 10th, I'm going to be in Tempe, Arizona, back with Jenny and Stacy. And then on uh, February 11th, I'll be in Costa Mesa, California. If you're anywhere near those shows, come out. They're going to be super fun. Um, I, You guys know them because they're fucking amazing. And I'm a huge fan of theirs. And uh, we're going to dance and I'm going to tell some jokes. And they're going to be great shows. They're dope as hell. If you yeah. happen to be at the Long Beach Comic Con on the 16th, why wouldn't you be? <laughs> I'll certainly be there doing some jokes. So Will you really? Come see me, Mint on Card, 5 p.m. in Long Beach. Yeah. Oh, I would be there anyway. You Scream know? for me, Long Beach. <laughs> LBC. <laughs> and uh, this is a little ways away, but I will be coming to Austin for the first time in April, April 13th and 14th, the Velveeta Room. So I'm excited for that. Put that in your calendar. Hell yeah. Oh, uh, ATX. I, I just want to put this out there too. March 6th, I'm going to be singing All Star by Smash Mouth at Guilty <laughs> Treasures in Los Angeles. My goodness. With a live band. Yeah. So. That's huge. Have you started rehearsing? Uh, every day in my car. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, you you'll be fun. Yeah. Um, um. Yeah. I have a bunch of shows in LA in February, so just follow me on Twitter and Facebook or whatever, and I'll post yeah. them as, as they come. If you live in LA, come see us and all the shit. See us, please. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Hey, we're back on Lady to Lady. I'm Babs. I'm Brandy. I'm Tess. We're with Jackie. Yay, Jackie Cation. Learning hey, Jackie about where Cation. the dim sum is. <laughs> <laughs> so that's good. Oh, yeah. yeah we're going to do a big, <laughs> yeah. big uh, lady brunch after this. It'll be fun. Yeah. I haven't had, like, I haven't gone to a real dim sum place. So. Oh, I love oh, really? It. They, what do they do? They just, like, bring it. They bring the carts they around. They have carts. And then yeah. you go, oh. yep. Yep. Oh, yep. okay. And so then, you choose. Uh, yeah. And then there's usually four to six or eight pieces in each thing, and then mm-hmm. people share, and then oh, fun. And the bill so comes, good. and you throw some money in the middle. Yeah. And yeah. then there's just very awkward, and everyone's like, "How much did you? Now, how many dim sums did you have?" <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's right. a it's a, a, a Chinese thing. Um, mm-hmm. I know this because I went to one that Jenny Yang organized, and I was like. Is this Korean? I don't because yeah. I, I was eating something. I was like, I don't what what is this? And she was like, This is a Chinese tradition. And I was like, <laughs> I yeah, was asking. Some Chinese tradition. I was yeah. asking. I was asking for the information. No, no. <laughs> yeah. But now right, well, it's hard to know. Yeah, and because uh, uh, it was, I was talking to somebody mm-hmm. about. Um, a good dim sum place, and I said, "Well, we're in Japan town," and I was like, "Yeah, yeah. yeah but there wouldn't be not there, right?" Because it's yeah, yeah. but there's a Thai place right across the street, and there's a yeah, you yeah. know. So I think uh, it's yeah. just it's America. It's oh. all it's all a mishmash <laughs> yeah, yeah. now. Yeah, yes. Alhambra. Uh, I was also. just at a place that had Thai tapas, Ooh. Oh, and that was, was it good? list. Uh, I don't know. I had it was called East West. It was okay. Eats meat East. Meets West was okay. the name okay. of the restaurant, hmm. and it's in the Central Valley of California, so it's in the in the middle of like orchards. Yeah, and they had diner food, and then they also had what they called Thai tapas oh. because it was owned by a Thai uh, couple. Okay, and I keep going back and forth between whether I want to try this or not. Yeah. Right, yeah, every yeah, sentence yeah. you say, I'm like, no, yeah, yeah okay. it's real, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. A Ross and Rachel situation here. <laughs> 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 but it was. Uh, I didn't try any of the Thai food, but I love the idea of Thai tapas. Yeah. It feels like a very American, uh, awesome mashup. That's what. Well, that's what oh, we cool. do best here in America is just mix up foods that shouldn't really be together. <laughs> it's great. And honestly, I think the idea of tapas is wonderful. I'm not a big yeah. Spanish food person, but I, I, I call myself a snackitarian. Like I like. No, you know, we should. I like a little. Yeah. Little thing. Like imagine yeah. Italian tapas. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Good you idea. only a want little a little caprizi, bit of everything. Little, yeah. Yeah. I always yeah. want to share. I've yes. had to convince Brendan that like we when we order we share what we order oh like, that's just built in no i me. know but he's always been like he he is rarely curious about my meal and i'm, <laughs> and I'm always he's like no I, I i thought about it and i chose what i want to eat tonight and i'm like i don't give a shit give me half of your food <laughs> the whole point of being in a relationship is to eat yes more. Half we're trying yeah. each other's things right, here right and it's uh yeah. and it's it's kind of sweet yeah it's nice i've won him to my side it's oh, good, good now yeah we, go. we, we share now it just was funny the first couple of years he'd be like yeah, I mean, you can have some. I'd be like, do you not want to try my food? What don't you like about my food? Yeah. Right. I'm what did you do? Yeah. yeah. Did you do something to it? Yeah, exactly. No, I, I made a good choice too. I like to pull the move of, I'll get a salad, thanks, and then I eat Sean's fries. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Because yeah. then he doesn't eat all of his fries either. It's a win win. Yeah. 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 Nobody Classic. needs all the fries that they give you. Fries no. are great to be split. Right. Yes. Too many fries. Just I remember, a couple of fries. I remember, st- like, one guy I dated, like, taking a fry, and he was like, 
You could ask. And I was like, ooh, this oh, is not going to work out. Bye-bye. I'm not going to ask. Yeah, I'm going to yeah. tell you I'm leaving. <laughs> yeah, this is. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to ask. I'm going to actually tell you I'm leaving. <laughs> I dated a guy, I'm not kidding, and I was very broke at the time. I was like a few years into comedy, and I dated this older guy who took me, I thought, on a date. Well, Mm -hmm. first we went to 24 Hour Fitness, and then he took me out to lunch, and because I was so broke, I like didn't really order food. I just ordered a Coke, and the bill came, and he asked me to pay for my Coke. For $2.19? Yes. Oh, my God. Oh, what a deal breaker. I'm so done with coffee. Thank you so much. (laughs) You're doing final work, but... (laughs) <laughs> I'm sure it comes back and forth. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, man. Could pass you to pay for a Coke. Can you imagine? No. T- truly not. I was, I was I genuinely, yeah. Yeah. And that's one of those situations, like, later in life, I wish I had, like, a great comeback. But at the time, I was so shocked, I just gave him the two fucking dollars. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you supposed well, to do? And that's, yeah, you're like, what? There's a great, I live in, there's a Seinfeld episode where, like, George breaks up with a woman or something, and then the bill comes, and he's like, oh, Oh, I'll get it. She's like, no, no, it's fine. He's like, no. Okay, well, yeah, you can just leave like four bucks or whatever. And it's like, you piece of shit. Like, yeah. just. Uh. Yeah, those are terrible people. That sitcom yeah. is full of just terrible. Hit. I love she it. Yeah. <laughs> people do. Yeah. I haven't been able to watch a sitcom in ages. Really? Just because uh, they're so mean to each other that I'm just like, I gotta. I'll read a dark book. Yeah, I don't need to. I don't need to oh, watch. Oh yeah, dark I have television. no. I have no cringe like issues with any shows. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm super. No. I, I, I cringe Curb almost immediately. Oh no, I cannot possibly yeah. watch. Curb, Curb, Curb is really toes hard. that yeah. line for me a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I gotta yeah. be in the a right mood that I get in maybe three times a year to watch Curb. That's I'm, so funny because I know I'm like give it to me. No, uh, I can like also it. never rewatch an episode of Curb because if I know what's coming, it makes it worse. Right, right, yeah. right. That, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I'm just like stop. I think it's like my control a control issue just to be like, but just say this instead and then everyone's right. happy right well, I mean that's why that's, yeah. I that's probably love, a control issue. that's yeah, why yeah. I don't yeah. love Harry Potter because it's like if you guys talk to each other about one thing that's going on <laughs> none of this would be happening oh but it's so magical <laughs> but it's annoying <laughs> what about 200 pages of uh, of camping anyone anybody uh, love uh, get book 7 uh, I, it's oh, like yeah. clearly nobody's editing her at book 7 oh, yeah. where she's just like and then they just went the camping again for 12 pages yeah. I was like stop camping stop yeah. camping let's get on to Voldemort Let's yeah. do this. It's, uh, just, yeah. <laughs> Book five was the hard one for me because it was just Harry being like, oh, my family's gone for 300 pages. And you're like, get over it. I'm sorry. I can't. Wait, I can't five read. isn't the one where they have the big games, right? No, 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 that's five. four. Yeah, four is four, really good. Five is uh, Siri- Phoenix. Siri- yeah, Uh-oh. Order of the Phoenix. I like yeah. that one. The end is really good. It's yeah. just that middle chunk where it's just, he's like emo. He's it like was definitely emo. them like drawing it out. Yeah. yeah. And I'm like, this could have been 100 pages shorter. Like, I don't right. need to hear the inner workings of a teenage boy. Literally, I normally, ever. I don't know. Catcher in the Rye, one of my least favorite. Ugh. Really? Yeah, that guy's Ugh. a I know it's so shit. trite, but I fucking love, I love it. it. I love it. It's just like, you know why I don't like it? Because I'm a phony. <laughs> this is like probably peak white woman for me when I was Uh-oh. Uh-oh. when I was Can't 16 wait. my friend and I had an idea because oh, no. we were so touched by the book Catcher in the oh, Rye no. that oh, we no. had an idea that we were going to go around to homeless people and give them free copies of Catcher in the Rye Oh, Tess. Did you? Wow. Tess, did you kill John Lennon? Is this, did you wow. give that book? You're on a list Did you give that dude. book to that man? And, I yeah. did. You might as well give them a time. paper cut. And then throw lemon Ooh. juice on them. Also, oh my the God. one thing homeless people have access to is the library. Yeah. Right. Yeah. right. <laughs> if you wanted to re-catch your big right. Easily. Ooh, that is a 16-year-old idea. That is a very 16-year-old idea. Very much so. We meant well. You did. I get it. I get it. And then you didn't act on it, which is classic. Thank God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's also a good thing. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, I love all the, the businesses and charities we think that we're going to start yeah. as teenagers. Yes. We are not. Yeah. Oh yeah. man. Yeah, I, that's, this is why it's good to not have social when you're <laughs> when you're a teen. Yeah, social media. Imagine yeah. just like the live. <laughs> like, well, we have to go through with it for the content. <laughs> I feel so fortunate that we were like pretty much the last generation that didn't have social media as teenagers. Yeah. Thank God. Right. There's no record of that. Yeah. Yeah. Use right. the internet to like cyber, and that's it. I yes. <laughs> There's no. We were all. Also, record. the only kids that really got into cybering. Because yeah. I think now the parents like, monitor it. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, they don't. Kids uh, are doing that job. Are they still cybering? Of course. They probably are. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. They're, How could they whatever they're doing is worse than for sure. Okay. Yeah. Right. It's like well, they, they, they mm-hmm. can see. Th- yeah. I don't. I don't want to. S- yeah. yeah. Good. <laughs> well, we were like cybering before porn was like so readily accessible too. Yeah. So it was like from an imag- from imagination. <laughs> was I was still in Dwayne like, Kennedy last night that I was that I was in an AOL chat room in nineteen. 
nine yeah nineteen ninety six ninety seven. Uh, I had, a, I had right. a Mac Classic, two megs of RAM, yeah. and I'm in an AOL chat room talking about sex. <laughs> and, uh, um, you know, and I'm like 100 years old at the time, so yeah. it's, but I'm like, I wonder if I'll like this. <laughs> and uh, I didn't mind it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Waitress keeps walking over at the exact right moment. <laughs> <laughs> she gets to hear, uh, I had a Mac Classic, it was great. Yeah. <laughs> two megs of RAM. Thank you. And, yeah, I uh, think, yeah. well, I don't know. I think it's like very, in, it's a very easy way to to like be innocent and explore, you know. Well, yeah, yeah, and, yeah. and it was dial up. Yeah. So yeah. how how how, how, how much porn could I get? You weren't going to get into too much trouble on dial up. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I definitely had. I was so creepy. I like found some <laughs> like <laughs> horny pictures and printed them out and like had oh them in God. like a little. <laughs> Folder? Did you keep it in a nice folder? I didn't have a folder. I had like a pouch. A wrapper keeper. A pouch. Oh my god! You're like a little jerk off couch. Oh I thought that you're just like a little dial up porn god. Oh, I was. That's amazing. I was so creepy. <laughs> so, and it was probably like a little precious dial. Oh, it was. Yeah, it was in our back room. It was like in our back, like windows looking out into our backyard, like oh beautiful. My god. <laughs> That's amazing. Anyway, don't listen to this one. I'm always that. astounded by how many guys I talk to find porn in the woods when they're kids. Yeah, I never yeah, came that across was a thing. Yeah. That's like not Peter a was also doing a joke about that, but I heard a guy about 15 years ago mention it because that's where I remember finding there were bags of of just old Playboys and stuff. Where in wow. the woods? That's so I never think it's off in the woods. Yeah. Well, I think it was because um, like people would be like, "Well, I got to get rid of this porn, but I don't want to uh, like they get like yeah. I don't know why guys got rid of porn. There were like there's speculation in my mind. I'm just like, well, uh, maybe they got married. Someone made them get rid of get their rid of porn, it, yeah. or their mom found it and they had to get rid of their yeah. porn, or they found Jesus and they got rid of their porn. But whenever you get rid yeah, of your yeah. porn, you don't want to get rid of your porn. Right. You're yeah, just yeah, like, right. this is good porn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am. <laughs> Gonna stash it. The, I'm going to stash it. I curated this. Yeah, exactly. Yes. This is a, I chose this. And so what happened was, is they would take uh, like a hefty bag mm-hmm. and because it rains a lot in Wisconsin. Right. Mm-hmm. And I would play in these woods when I was in, in grade school and uh, I would occasionally find like a weird hefty what? bag full of uh, wow. magazines. And I, and I just I think it's wild. This was happening all over the nation. <laughs> yeah, you know, I think it's it was great. weird. I, we it, think we I, invented the sharing economy, and no, it has been happening <laughs> way before. I think they were exactly. hubs. Yeah. I think these were like hubs where men knew they could go to find these trash bags. They really, they really, and it was like I remember once it was a play, like a penthouse. Yeah, and I was like. And literally, pent, I don't know if you ever saw a penthouse, mm-hmm. but they would be like a, a, the That's tiniest, a and it was just like kneecap, yeah, yeah. or <laughs> vulva, yeah, yeah, yeah. or yeah, yeah. you're right, I do remember yeah. that. And you're just like it was like it was it was like a way to cut people up, yeah, yes. like before you cut people, <laughs> it was right. like yeah, yeah. Uh, it was like the yeah. ultimate like headless women of Hollywood, yeah, yeah. 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 That yeah. is so I never even thought about but it at, at least the time. Playboy at least yeah. had like the centerfold, which there was like, was like the a story, right? Yeah, Tell me your interests yeah right that's so like, funny like you know play guys are like going to the woods to read them for the articles <laughs> <laughs> yeah. supposedly very good art found a really great recipe in the woods <laughs> <laughs> okay let's do this uh oh this lady problem <laughs> okay somebody <laughs> somebody messaged me and was like what's the email i've listened a million times and i can't remember i get so, it so yeah i get it too. lady it's- to lady comedy at gmail.com Lady, lady problems. Lady, lady problems. Lady problems. Do you have them? Lady problems. Do you have them? People have them. Yes. Send us your lady problems. We love to. We had at the live show, which you guys will hear, but mm-hmm. some really cool ladies who were like. Had, yeah, you know, really taking them In to the heart. So. Uh, Teresa, you almost made us cry. Yeah, uh, on stage. She was so sweet. That was so sweet. Thank you. <laughs> Okay. Hey, ladies. I'm a huge fan of the podcast, and as a young adult in my early 20s, it helps me feel more normal in my thoughts. I have a huge problem, and I am lost as to what to do about it. I recently went through a bad breakup, um, not with the aforementioned ex. Did she okay. say? Mm, no, not yet. Okay. Uh, I recently went through a bad breakup, not with the aforementioned ex, and I needed comfort during this time, turning to what I knew I turned to my ex from before. Okay. 
So she went to her ex before during a breakup. Okay. okay. I'm a she hu- went back into the vault. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm a huge believer in the idea that exes can be friends. I saw no, see no reason why you can't be friends with someone you've seen naked in the past. It has been a few months into the communication between the two of us, and I honestly have only thought of him as a friend. He is not my Tyler. I guess that's the... the I think we're like missing info, but... No, this is know. right from email. Um, he's not my boyfriend and we, we dated in high school almost three years ago. He's insistent that I am lying to him and that I do in fact have a crush on him. This is not true as I still have feelings for the guy who broke up with me, but he refuses to believe me stating that I am a liar and I'm lying to him no matter how many times I have told him the opposite. I want to be his friend still. I want to help him through things, but how should I show him I'm not interested? I don't want to date as I'm not over my ex and I also don't want to join Tinder, but I honestly don't know what to do as I've said I have no feelings so many times signed 21 and being told how to feel uh, alright <laughs> you don't have to be friends with all your exes and you don't have to be friends with this guy yeah. I mean like if there's yeah. a natural if, I feel like my thing with friends with exes is if you organically just are friends yeah and you both find that that's a healthy you situation don't need to force that you're it. in cool yeah I think that there's plenty of times where it's actually a pretty good idea to not be friends M- with I mean I think the thing I think it is like a you're 21 and I think at that age yeah. you think that you're supposed to do. You're all supposed these to, but yeah. it's not realistic to be close with someone. Yeah, that you've and you been don't with. have to do. Ev- you don't have yeah. to do everything that everyone's like, including us. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but uh, yeah. like if it, there's, and and the thing is, is if you aren't friends mm-hmm. with him right now, mm-hmm. maybe you're friends with him five years from now. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Yeah. And maybe he's right five years from now, and you're like, oh my, no, it, <laughs> impossible. Yeah, but I mean, the thing is, is is it's it sounds like he doesn't want to hear it. Yes, and. Yeah. That that sounds kind of toxic and not cool. Yes, and I think that that's a, a pretty common thing that happens when you are quote unquote friends with them. There is baggage. There, you, this baggage. You don't have like a clean slate with this person, right? You, it's yeah. not just that you've seen them naked. You have yeah. a loaded history. Well, I also feel like you're kind of slotting in a, a, another person into that space that your most recent ex just filled, and you're like, yeah. well, I need someone to kind of like fight and. Snip you know what she with. needs? She needs a game. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's what you, you oh. want. Yeah, you want like a dude to hang out with that you don't want to be dating. Yeah, you need to. That like, you're not gonna be worried about is like yeah, mad that you're friend zoning him or whatever. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. And if yeah. you don't have that, you know, it turns out women are people. Yeah, yeah. You could just hang out with a woman friend, and it doesn't have to also be sexual mm, or right. yeah. not sexual or anything. Yeah, it can absolutely. just be. They, you could just treat them like people. Yeah. Yes. And, uh, or and it, yourself. Yeah. Learn to yeah. hang out just with be yourself. Al- yeah. You yeah. can, yeah. Learn you to can just, just be alone. alone for a while. Start out at five minutes a day and work yourself up to half an hour of silence a day. <laughs> By the time you're in junior high, you should be able to sit quietly for 45 yeah, yeah, minutes. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, fuck this guy. Yeah, fuck him. By yeah. the way, what he's doing is fucked up. Yeah, yeah, that's not cool. It, it, he's yeah. telling yeah, yeah, yeah. you telling you that you're lying and you have feelings for him. I mean, he I he's not your friend. Yeah. Like, if you're coming to him in yeah. a yeah. vulnerable this situation, you've just okay. gone through some bullshit. A friend helps you get through that yeah. in a healthy right. way. I also feel like this is him not wanting to say I don't want to talk to you, but like kind of force, like wanting you to be the one to be like, oh, he sucks, so I don't want to talk to him anymore. You know what I mean? I don't think that's ha- happening. Oh, I kind of. I, that's what I get from it. I think he's just like, yeah. You, you, like, like we shouldn't we're either we shouldn't gonna be date, you still like me yeah. yeah or we're not gonna be friends yeah. but yeah. this isn't the recent ex this is no this, this is, is the two exes yeah. 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 yeah yeah okay yeah, yeah. and well i yeah i think that it is it's it's if she had uh you know if yeah. l- let's say she were fighting some sort of weird attraction to him mm-hmm. he's definitely killing it yeah yeah uh, he's definitely <laughs> yeah, knifing yeah, yeah. it in the back yeah 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 because yeah, you're just like, absolutely not which is something not interested. we've all I've for sure done at this age uh, yeah. yes. where I'm like no I know that you actually like me and yeah, you, that yeah. you're not mm-hmm. desperation guess what not very attractive <laughs> yeah, so, yeah for sure that well, will right, and the blowing of hot and cold is yeah, yeah. incredibly maddening yeah and, and I mean I will say if you think about it from his perspective you just broke up with an ex and now you're like talking to your previous ex yeah. and you're a lot I'm guessing and he's yeah. just like you like you just me. replaced me it yeah, seems you like just rebound replaced. behavior and yes. she's even saying that because she didn't yeah. say how do I meet new friends she said I don't want to be on tinder so yeah, you yeah. kind of are using this guy as your replacement boyfriend yeah, right? yeah. he's like an emotional boyfriend for you right now right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you yeah. might need to be alone give yourself six months yeah. man yeah. yeah 21 you're gonna live yeah. to be 100 I yeah. swear to god yeah, yeah. you promise. don't need to be on tinder immediately just like take take a minute mm-hmm. and just be that's happy the, with yourself. That's the yeah. biggest yeah, lesson I learned like coming into, you know, and but I get it too. I was like that all through my 20s and it, I only in the last few years got comfortable being by myself. It is easier said than done. It's but very, I, yeah. yeah. But I mean, if you can manage it, you will be way mm-hmm. better set be, yeah. in, in yeah. all 
yeah. menu areas of your life. It's one of these things that's that uh, it's a simple answer, yeah. but it's not an easy answer. Yeah. No. Yeah. So yeah. good luck. Yes. Yeah. Because loneliness <laughs> is a bitch. Yeah, loneliness it, it, is a bitch. It's not. It's it's almost like an addiction, kind of like being around other people, yeah. especially when you're sad. Like to, the impulse to fill that hole with something is strong. Yeah. It is, and especially when you just went through a break, you're so yes. you, mm-hmm. losing companionship. That is that pure of like that is somebody in your shit all the time. Yeah, yeah. and not having that all of a sudden is very that's weird. real. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, I think just also like try to make sure you're like not dwelling on that relation. Like try to find things that are like outside of yourself a little bit to kind of like fill your time with a little bit, so you're not just like fixating on this thing Cello. that just happened. Chill. Yes, yeah. What's the thing that, that you have this time now that you can learn? You, you used to like learn a new thing or like go volunteer somewhere, and then it's not just like you and your relationship, and that's who defines yes. you. Like yes. find something else that you can define yourself. Oh, dear by. God, how much I wish I had like learned an instrument instead of spending all the time dating idiots yeah. in my 20s <laughs> dear god I would l- I would know 14 instruments if I yeah. if I if I could exchange that time we'd all be multilingual yeah, yeah. yeah. like real one woman wow band. that would be a real savant and I always say like you never know when you're gonna end up in another relationship so enjoy yeah. this time yeah yeah absolutely looking back you're gonna be like I wish I had spent that six months yeah, your single time is pretty fun. Yeah. like you're just in charge and there's no one to answer to. <laughs> right, right. You can you can binge watch whatever you want. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You can sleep, you know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> you can have all the fries. Yeah. yeah. You can do whatever you want. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. But yeah, I think ditch the sex as a friend for yeah. now. I don't think, I don't know what you would get out of this. Yeah, right you're now. not getting anything good out of it. He's no. not right. getting, and it you're seems like he doesn't either want too. it either. Yeah. 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 So he yeah. doesn't want to be your friend. Yeah. yeah. You have yeah. to, and you have to do the right thing for him, which is to free yeah. him of, you know. Yeah, which is yeah. the right thing for you. Yeah. yeah. yeah and nothing's going to prove to him that you don't like him, like telling him to fuck off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, weird. you don't have to tell him to fuck that's off. That's weird. Yeah, just stop. Yeah. Yeah, in your mind. Yeah. 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 Dump him. Yes. Basically. Yeah, yeah. Friend. Friend dump Friend him, dump him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Well, that's the show. Yeah. Y'all. Really? Thank, Thank you so guys. much for yeah. uh, meeting us. Sitting in the sitting in the corner of this here. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Mum's restaurant. Mum's, Mum's restaurant, which has circle windows. Yeah, yeah that's very nice. It's a good looking window. Yes. Yeah. It's a beautiful day. Thanks outside. for having me. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah this is really fun. And uh, check out her podcast, The Dork Forest and Jackie and. Lori. Lori. Yeah. And um, absolutely. Come and see me do stand up whenever I'm in a town near you, Jackie Cation. Yeah. Dot com. Hell yeah. Oh, and if you want to hear a little bit more, Jackie, you can go over to our Patreon uh, for $10 a month. We're going to go do the top secret session right now. Yeah. Patreon.com slash lady to lady. And uh, it's one, five, and $10 levels. And you can get, we could do a bonus episode at the $5 level and we would do a bonus session for every episode at the mm-hmm. $10 level. And there's been some really good ones. We had, oh, yeah. I will say this, we had a guy call me from Paris during an episode and I answered it on, <laughs> and he, he was like, he called your shit too. Yeah, he <laughs> called me out. He and was only like, the Patreon subscribers got to hear that. Yeah, so it was, it was a really, really good one. So yeah. you guys are missing out. Somebody said they were like, oh my God, it was worth it just for that. It was, it was pretty, pretty crazy. Great. So yeah, we'll see you over there. Thanks, Bye. Jackie. Bye guys. Can't get enough of us? Subscribe to our Patreon for exclusive bonus content, access to our first 100 episodes, and more. Go to patreon.com slash lady to lady now to sign up. As little as a dollar a month keeps a roof over the glam cave and keeps you laughing, even when your coworkers stare. That's patreon.com slash lady to lady. And don't forget to follow us on social media. We're on Twitter and Instagram at lady to lady comedy. Join our Facebook group, Lady to Lady Podcasts, to chat with other fans about episodes or even post your own lady problems. Check out our website, ladytoladycomedy.com, for show notes, videos, and merch. And duh, follow our individual accounts, Babs Gray, Brandazzle, and Testify Barker for jokes and info and where you can see us perform live. And if you want to send us snacks, stickers, or a lock of your own hair, I don't know, whatever, our P.O. Box is 412-794, Los Angeles, California, 90041. And please, leave us a review on iTunes, but only if you like us. We love you. We love you. Bye. 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 Bye.